Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When Access opens, it displays a window which allows you to create a new database file that will contain either a desktop database or web app. A new Access database file is a container that will hold all of the tables, view definitions, forms, reports, queries, macros, and modules required by the desktop database or web app. Within Access, a desktop database is simply a database file that is intended to be used on a single computer or within a local network. A web app is a database application that is intended to be shared on the internet using SharePoint or Office 365 for business services. You must have an Office 365 subscription or have access to a SharePoint server with Access services installed to be able to create web apps in Access 2013 or later. This course focuses on creating and designing desktop database files in Access 2016 or 2013. After starting Access, you can choose to create a new database file from scratch by using a blank desktop database or web app template, or you can create a new database file that contains some basic database objects by selecting one of the database templates shown. To create a new database file in Access, Click the name of the template you want to use as the basis for your database file within the listing of templates shown in the startup screen. At that point, a small window will appear on screen where you can enter a name for the file into the file name or app name field. For desktop database files, the default location where Windows will save the file will be shown below the name. To change this location, you can click the small folder button at the right end of the file name field to open a file new database window where you can change the directory into which it will save the file. If you are saving a web-based app instead, then enter the URL address of the SharePoint site or Office 365 for Business site to which you will save the file by entering the URL into the SharePoint or Office 365 site URL field. The easiest way to select a SharePoint or Office 365 for Business site associated with your Microsoft user ID is by clicking one of the online locations shown in the Available Locations list. Once you have given your access file a name and decided where to save it, then click the Create button within the window to create the access database file. Once you have created a new access database file, you will then see the main access user interface where you will design the objects within the desktop database or web-based app. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.